the Rover, a remote-controlled vehicle unmatched in the game of space exploration. And here on the moon, it's getting... It's not the moon. What? It's not the moon, it's Utah. Utah? Well, uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, well, Utah might not be an alien world, but turns out this long stretch of desert in the US is great at simulating one. Which is why it's hosting an international competition for rover builders. We're here to compete in the International University Rover Challenge against teams from over 10 different countries. Um, we're really excited to meet all the other teams and to show everyone what our rovers got. Beck is part of the Nova Rover team from Monash Uni in Melbourne, which created this interplanetary explorer. They'll be operated remotely via a radio, um, and they have stuff like a robotic arm. And it has to go around and explore its area, just like the rover is behind me. On the moon, there's lots of water. It's stored as ice, and we can use that for astronauts as water to drink or to breathe, breathe the oxygen, or we could make hydrogen fuel. So the rover has to try and extract water out of the ground. Monash Uni is no stranger to the rover building game. Its Nova Rover project has been cranking out robots since 2017 as a way of giving students from many different fields a chance to flex their STEM skills. They're involved in all sorts of aspects of the build, from engineering to programming to figuring out just how much it'll cost. When I came to university, I discovered how cool it is when you actually get to do experiments. And then I joined the team and I discovered how cool it is when you can design the equipment to do the experiments. And it looks like the team's hard work has been paying off, because all their roving has had critics raving. So we recently won the Australian Rover Challenge um, up in Adelaide. Um, that gave us a chance to compete against a lot of different teams throughout Australia. Grant says it was great to test out the rover in this sort of environment. It's going to give us a chance to test our ability to traverse rough terrain over long distances, um, as well as things like our autonomous system, which drives the rover without human input, and our science payload, which can analyse rock and soil samples for presence of life. And while it is all about the science, this rover's also dressed to impress. Our rover this year is pink, because we want to start conversations about women in STEM and why we need more diversity in these jobs in this industry. Our team has a lot of diversity, a lot of women on the team, and we feel like that definitely has to have something to do with how well we perform. They're also hoping this clever little robot can show kids just how far you can go with a career in STEM. If you're interested in STEM, I definitely say take as many opportunities as you can to get involved in STEM subjects in school. Doing STEM subjects at school is one of the most awesome opportunities. It'll set you right up to go to university, and university is where the real fun begins. You can make your own experiments, you can make your own robots, you can make rockets, you can do whatever you want. So the sooner you start, the better off you'll be.